Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this discussion, we shall be looking at key in trigonometric ratios into your calculator and finding their results. This video is dedicated to Vidyani. Vidyani, you asked a question concerning key in sine squared x. We are going to look at that today and I hope this video becomes a great help to you. Before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like and share. Okay. Now first of all, let's look at cos 45 degrees. How would you key that in? So, in your calculator, you just simply key in the same cos 45 degrees. This one is not much of a thing. So we come, let me clear the calculator first, and then you press cos and then 45 now if you look at this symbol here it is d that means the calculator is already in degree mode okay but irrespective of the mode of the calculator you can always introduce the symbol either degree or radians to specifically tell the calculator the kind of angles we are dealing with as to whether the angles are in radians gradients or degree so to key in the degree symbol you can simply press shift and then come and press the answer key here all right on top of it do you see drg the d stands for degree the r stands for radians the g stands for gradient so you simply press that and then when you press that the first one is degree the second one is radians and the third one is what gradients so we are interested in degree so we press one and then we close the bracket then what happens next we press equal to the answer we get is the square root of two over two as our answer let's go to the next one turn 45 degrees you simply key in the same thing into your calculator memory and then so you type turn 45 I may choose to add a degree symbol or not already the calculator is in degree mode so I can choose to leave that out then I close the bracket then you press equal to the answer is 1. Turn 45 degrees is simply 1. And then we proceed to the next one, which is sine 45 degrees. Once again, you key in sine 45 degrees and then press equal to. So you press sine, then 45, close bracket, and press equal to. So the answer we get is root 2 or the square root of 2 over 2. And then now let's look at the the reciprocal of the trigonometric ratios the reciprocal of the trigonometric ratios of course let's start with uh, cosec what is cosec cosec is the inverse of the sine uh, function or the sine operator so what happens so you press sine 45 close bracket and then you raise it to the exponent negative one that is simply how you do it so we press sine 45 close bracket and then you press this particular key here x to the power or x, x to the exponent negative one when you press that you have your negative one as your exponent displayed and then you press equal to what do we have as the answer root two Let's proceed to the next one, which is sec, or the second ratio. Now, the second ratio is simply the reciprocal of the cosine ratio. So you simply press that, or you simply key in cos 45 to the exponent negative 1, as shown here. So we simply come and press this, uh, cos 45 close bracket to the exponent negative one and then we press equal to as you can see the answer is also the square root of two let's proceed to the last one then we have cotangent of 45 degrees or cot 45 degrees remember cotangent is simply the reciprocal of the tan ratio 
So what do you do? You simply press turn 45, close the bracket to the exponent negative 1. So let's do that. Let me press the all clear key. Then I press turn 45, close the bracket, and then to the exponent negative 1. Then you press equal to. Now what happens? We also get 1. Remember turn 45 was 1 and the reciprocal of 1 is still 1. Now let's proceed to a situation whereby we have each trig ratio being squared. Okay, and that will culminate into our Pythagorean identities. Now let's start with the first one here. Now let's start with the first one here, cos squared 45 degrees. Now in keying this in your calculator, you cannot key in exactly cos squared 45 degrees. Rather, you are supposed to key in cos 45 degrees close bracket to the power or to the exponent 2. The close bracket is very important, all right? Automatically, the calculator opens the bracket for you, but it is your responsibility to close the bracket and introduce the exponent too. So let's do that. So you press cos 45, close bracket, and then press the x square key to introduce the exponent too. And then you press equal to what do you have 1 over 2 or half and we'll proceed to the next one which is tan squared 45 degrees and then your calculator you key in tan 45 degrees close the bracket and then introduce the exponent 2 so let's go ahead and do that so you press tan key in 45 close bracket and then exponent 2 and then you press equal to what do you have you have 1 exactly now let's move into the next one um, sine squared 45 degrees and in the same way you key in sine 45 degrees close the parenthesis or the bracket and then introduce the exponent 2 so you go ahead you press sine 45 close bracket, introduce the exponent 2, and then you press equal to, and then we have half. Now let's come to the squares of their reciprocals. Let's start with cosec squared, 45 degrees. Now to do this, remember, the cosecant ratio is the reciprocal of the sine ratio. So you key in so you simply key in sine 45 degrees, close the parenthesis to the exponent negative 2. Remember it's reciprocal, that is why we're interested in the negative sign first. So we come, sine 45, close the bracket, introduce the exponent by pressing the x to the power box key, and you can now customarily key in negative. 2 as your exponent and then press equal to. What is your answer? 2 basically. And then we'll proceed to the next one which is the second squared of 45 degrees. Remember the second ratio is a reciprocal of the cosine ratio. So sec squared 45 degrees is simply going to be equal to cos 45 degrees close parenthesis to the power negative 2. Please, realistically, or when you are doing computation or presentation during an examination, do not use the calculator input method. Use the mathematical input method. But if you are to use your calculator, use the calculator input method the way it is or just as I have shown it to you on the screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And so let's go ahead and do that. So, 
So let's go ahead and do that. So you press course 45 close bracket introduce the exponent negative 2 and then press equal to and you can see the answer is simply 2. Let's consider the last one. The cotangent squared of 45 degrees. Remember the cotangent ratio is a reciprocal of the tangent ratio. So we simply key in tan 45 degrees, close bracket, and then we introduce the exponent negative 2. This is the calculator input approach, please. And, I, and, and let me emphasize again, in examination, avoid using or expressing terms using your calculator input approach. Rather use the mathematical input approach because that is the standard. But in your calculator, rather key it this way. So we go ahead and do that. So we have tan 45 degrees close bracket introduce the exponent negative 2 and then press equal to and as you can see the answer is 1. Now let's go ahead and test some of our Pythagorean identities. Let's start with the sine squared x plus cos squared x. Of course you know sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Let's test that with our calculator here. So I'm going to press the AC key to clear it up. So we have sine, you press alpha x, close bracket, introduce squared, plus cos alpha, close bracket key to display x, close the bracket, and then press the exponent 2. All right, this is the expression keyed in. All right, so now we're going to use the CALC key, which is for substitution. All right, so when I press the CALC key or the calculate key, I can key in any, any angle of my choice to test this identity. Let's start with, let's say, 7, and then press equal to. What do you have? 1. Let's test uh, 79, and then press equal to. What do we have? We still have 1. And then let's press uh, 95. What do you have? You still have 1. Uh, let's even press 1000. Okay, let's say there's an angle which is let's say 10,000 rather. Then you press equal to what do you still have? One. So this is a simple test of the Pythagorean, the basic and the easiest and the commonest and then the simplest Pythagorean identity. Okay. Now there are others. There are others as well. For instance, you know one plus the cotangent squared of x is equal to the cosecant squared of x. All right which is simply the same as the cosecant squared of x minus the cotangent squared of x is also equal to 1. Let's try that. Of course, our calculator does not have the cosecant squared of x, so what do we do? We rather use the sine, but, but remember, our exponent, we have to introduce the power or the exponent negative 2. Alright, so we are going to type in sine alpha x, close bracket, you press the x to the power box here and then key in negative 2. Move the cursor forward and then press minus cotangent squared of x. We don't have that, so you simply press tan. Uh, introduce the x, close bracket, x to the power box key and then key in the negative 2. All right. Now let's use the, CA, the CALC key again or the calculate key again to test this identity. All right, let's press calculate and then press 45. What do you have? One. And then 78. Uh, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. Then you press calculate 89 and then press equal to what do you have? One. So these identities can be tested. You can use your calculator to test all the Pythagorean identities uh, as shown. In this particular discussion thank you so much for your time and um, I would like to give a special shout out to India uh, a lot of students in India have been watching my videos and I'm so happy I hope to one day come to India